NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Well, you couldn't have had a better evening for the uh, sidewalk sale, right? I know it's perfect out there. It's going to feel that way throughout the rest of the evening. Also a good evening to catch the full sturgeon moon, which is coming out tonight. What is that? So Sounds it's fancy. named after the prehistoric fish that they used to catch right around this time of year in Lake Champlain in the Great Lakes. And that moon rises around 8.30 p.m. It's, uh, it's uh, yes, look at that. It will appear about 10% larger this evening, peaking around 1 a.m. in the southern horizon. So it's uh, making a little bit of a closer orbit toward Earth. That's why we'll see it. We have a mixture of clouds and maybe a few breaks of clear sky, so we should at least get a few windows of opportunity to view it. Very comfortable temperatures out there right now. 77 in Burlington, 78 in St. Albans, 72 in Chazy. A cool 68 in St. J, 69 in Newport. The clouds hung out a little bit longer there today, so it took longer for the clearing to get in, but it is doing so as we have drier air infiltrating from the west right now, but further off to the north and west, northwest of Montreal and Quebec, there's a cold front that's bringing some more showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. It's a reinforcing shot of cooler air, so Canadian high pressure building in right behind it for Friday, lasting into the weekend, so we've got glorious late summer weekend ahead, so... We'll have uh, partly cloudy skies tonight uh, with mostly clear skies, especially farther to the west, I think, over New York. But Vermont hanging on to those clouds. We should see at least some sun break out tomorrow morning, which could add a little bit of fuel to the atmosphere for the showers and thunderstorms that come in right around 12 or 1 o'clock for uh, the western side of Lake Champlain, getting into eastern Vermont by about 3, 4, 5 o'clock. And some of these could be briefly strong with uh, a brief damage wind gusts, some heavy rain and some lightning, but we're really not expecting any widespread severe weather by any means. It's quickly out of here. Cooler, drier weather pours in behind it, so we will have mostly clear skies for Friday, except over northern areas and especially the Northeast Kingdom. I think there'll be a lot of cloud cover during the day Friday, but still a good deal of sun elsewhere. Cool temperatures in the 70s, very low humidity as well. We have a jet stream that's dipping way to the south, so it actually makes it all the way down to the Carolinas and Florida bringing in that cooler northerly flow across the region and that lasts into early next week. So we've got several days of comfortable weather ahead and certainly comfortable tonight with continued low humidity, many locations falling into the 50s. I could see a 60 or 61 right near the lake, but that's about it. Even some 40s likely in the Tri Lakes region in the Adirondacks. Tomorrow is a little bit warmer in the Upper Valley where we see a tad more sunshine. So 86 looking likely in Lebanon, 84 in Springfield. Slightly cooler in the Adirondacks where the clouds and the showers move in first. It, not everybody sees a thunderstorm. I think they'll be mostly scattered in nature, but you'll certainly want to keep an eye to the sky. Keep that on umbrella handy for any pop-up showers and storms. Drying out Friday, more clouds off to the north, but everybody gets in on at least partly cloudy skies for Saturday and Sunday. Continued low humidity levels into early next week with highs in the 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s. Brian Alice.